Hi guys, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to set up an acoustic guitar. In this series, I want to show you how to set up your guitars and how to fix the most common issues without using too many special tools. In case you enjoyed the series, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. The first thing you have to check on your acoustic guitar, if the string action is too high or too low, is the soundboard, which is the top of the body. Since it's made out of wood and the inside is not finished, it moves around depending on humidity. If the wood dries out, the middle falls in and sort of hangs like this. If the soundboard is too humid, it swells up like this. This of course means that the bridge in the middle also moves up and down. Before you do anything else on the guitar, grab a ruler and make sure that the soundboard looks something like this. It should be flat or even hang a little on the sides and have a slight arch in the middle, right where the bridge sits. Next is the neck relief. Make sure that the neck is not dead straight, but also doesn't hang too much in the middle. If you have to tighten or loosen the truss rod, you will find the excess in the sound hole or at the headstock. Then you have to check the nut. You have to make sure that the string slots are deep enough, but not too deep. If you want to learn more, we have episodes on both of these topics. You'll find them in the description box. The last resort is to lower the bridge saddle if the string action is still too high. Loosen the strings and take out the saddle. You don't have to change strings. I will though, because these are old and the guitar looks really nasty and I want to clean it. I will stick to the same gauge and same brand to avoid a change in tension and messing up my neck setup. Mark how much you want to sand off the bottom of the saddle. I love using the caliper for that and I normally go for between 0.6 and 0.8 millimeters. Tighten the little screw and scratch a straight line in the saddle parallel to its bottom. Grab a sanding paper, put it on a completely flat surface and sand the bottom of the saddle. You can start with a rough grid like 80 or 120, but change to a smoother grid at the end. Something like 240 or 320 will do. When you're done, make sure that the bottom of the saddle is that straight. You can check it against the light. That's especially important if your guitar has an under saddle pickup. If the saddle is not straight, some of the strings will be way quieter than the others. Put the saddle back and restring the guitar. What if the body and the neck relief is perfect, but you still have fret buzz and the action is too low? Well, then the nut or the bridge saddle is too low. Check the nut to see if that causes the issue. Now you know which of these two causes the problem and you can order the right part. As told, you will find a video about nut setups in the description. But now it's time for a test ride. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. Also, I'd love to see what you want us to cover in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. 
it's time to become your own guitar tech. I told cover instead of show, but it's a cover show. <laughs> next step. Can I not? Next step. Next step. Next step. Next step. Can I not? Next step. Next is the neck relief. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Me Elan. Alter. Elan Musk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.